so we've got everything except for auxiliary heat working. And so I'm going to change the thermostat and confirm operation there. For all intents and purposes, everything should be fine once the thermostat brings on auxiliary again. Good morning, YouTube. It is February 23, 2015, and we've got an install today. From what I understand, we've got a heat pump air handler split in a mechanical room. We gotta run a fresh air intake and get the smoke alarm wired in and piped in. It should be interesting. The return ducting is buried in the concrete slab. So we may find it somewhat difficult to get the fresh air and the smoke alarm you know, separated. But we'll try to take you along for the ride. Stay tuned. This should be tons of fun. And then we got outside, we got a big fat condenser. I guess we'll just get everything ripped out and figure out what to do with the rest of it when it goes back in. Looks like we've got a low ambient kit wired to the coil. and taking power off of the reversing valve. So, there's our condenser fan wiring. Condenser fan comes off of the defrost board, comes through here and then goes out to the motor so that this would allow the system to run with the motor stopping and starting to maintain head pressure for low ambient cooling. So I guess we'll keep that just in case we need to retrofit it to the new system unless they've got one that's coming with the new system. This is the kind of stuff that passes inspection in Fayetteville, or at least did back when this system was put in. We've got two separate circuits feeding the same heat strip on 10 gauge wire, feeding a 10 kW heat strip. And right here where it comes through the heat strip housing, there's no uh, protection of the wire. And I think you can see that it's been rubbing the metal and could have caused a short. It's terrifying. Sure. Terrifying. Look at that. I just found 20 bucks in the return been there for a while it's more it ain't pretty but I just found a $20 bill that's crazy that's fun. Wow I think I'm on the 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 I think
So, I had just got my vacuum finished and my low voltage on the outside wired up when this guy showed up to install this cage. And he said, you can't move the cage for 24 hours because of the concrete that they bury it in. So, tonight this customer is going to be running on auxiliary heat until we can move this cage and do a proper startup the refrigerant lines are so short that I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to recover refrigerant out of it just to get the charge right and the way this cage is built you can't really get to it without moving the cage I might be able to get hoses inside and I could definitely use my iConnect stuff but I can't get in there to pull the screws I could reach down from the top but I couldn't you know get that screw on the bottom very conveniently and hook my gauges up or my iConnect probes so thankfully I've got 90% of this work finished and we can tidy it up when we get done as far as the you getting some heat in there? Mm -hmm. Good. As far as the condenser or air handler goes, we've got to finish insulating the free refrigerant lines, tidy up the low voltage, and uh, run the drain. But previously, you saw this air handler was in an upflow position, and I opted to go downflow so that we could get airflow directly down into the supply duct and eliminate that turn turn of the supply plenum so we'll get a proper start up here um, when we get the rest of the unit able to finish but for now this is what we've got figured I'd give you a little bit of an update Hello, this is Steve with Cape Fear. I understand your thermostat's not displaying. Um, have you checked Turn all of your breakers? Drive in point one miles. Turn right okay. On what drive. type of a system then do you have? On. Do you? Okay, so it's gas. Is it in the crawl space? Is it underneath the house? Turn right on Strominsky okay. Drive. Um, if the thermostat goes blank and the breakers are not tripped, typically it's going to be a loss of control power, Drive point which means that you don't have any low voltage 
coming out of the unit to be able to control the system and keep the thermostat displayed. Have you checked the batteries that may be in the thermostat? Okay. Turn left on West Valentine Street. Okay. Um, if, if there's no display, it's probably a voltage issue. It may be a breaker, it may be low voltage, but um, the only way I can be 100% certain is to come out and see it. Um, do you happen to have maintenance with us already? Then turn right on West Elm Avenue. Absolutely. Turn right on West Elm Avenue. Um, I'm running all night. Um, Drive point four mm. miles, then turn right on Evan Ferry Road. No problem. Um, if you want to let him know that the um, diagnostic is 105 for after hours calls, but most times I can get the system repaired and get that diagnostic knock knocked down to $79. Um, and then, uh, you know, when I get there and see it, I can, you know, discuss repair options and get it up and running most, most likely. Alrighty, thank you. Uh-huh, bye. In point one miles, turn right on Evan Ferry Road. Well, it is 10.22 p.m., February 23rd, and... We've got right a service call. Appears to be a rental property because the gentleman I just spoke with said that he wanted to call the landlord first um, before he had us come all the way out. Now, since I live an hour away from Fayetteville, I'm going to go ahead and continue on the road so that I will be closer if he calls back and wants me to go ahead and come out miles. Turn left on and if he highway. calls back and says don't bother I'll turn around and go home hopefully we get to go play turn with the unit on highway. a gas furnace or a gas pack I'm curious to see what it is and I know you are too so stay tuned Dial last number. Hello, this is Steve with Cape Fear. I just wanted to see if you had had a chance to speak with your landlord. Please call me back. 910. Thank you. Well, I would have hated to have a call back already giving me the go ahead to come down and still be an hour away if I had not started this direction but I just called him back and got no answer so I guess we may give them a few more minutes before we halt on our progress This is Steve. Yes, sir. Ten four. Not a problem. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, we got a cheap landlord. He uh, he came out and looked at the unit and said he would get his guy to come out and look at it tomorrow. Tenant said that's not what he wanted to hear, of course, but it is his property. So I guess we will be turning around and headed back home. I was really looking forward to seeing what was going on. Oh well. We'll catch you on the next one. I guess that's what you get. For trying to be proactive. Thanks. We'll catch you later.